All right, let's have a quick recap on how to add a rig to a humanoid character. Over here, I got a character. We select it and go into edit mode. We can see it's divided in half, sort of. And if you work with the mirror, mirror modifier before adding the armature and start the rigging, be sure to apply the mirror modifier. All right. Uh, then we want to have our character, um, their hips sort of uh, maybe upwards a bit. So, so the 3D cursor meets the hips around here. So we can start adding bones. So let's see how that's done. So I'm going to switch into object mode. Uh, we view this from the front. So going to view, viewpoint, front. So that's actually the side now. So what we could do is select our character and hit R Z nine zero and rotate the character. That's going to flip it around. So the feet are facing that way, actually. So let's see again, view, viewpoint, front, and hit N on your keyboard and make this minus 90 and hit N again to hide that menu. And now if you turn to the side, you can see the front is the front. All right, going back to view, viewpoint, front. Let's hit G and Z and move the character upwards. So the 3D cursor is right about there around the hips. And then we want to see through our character. So I'm going to hit Z and choose wireframe. And then we can start adding our armature. So shift A, add armature. You scale this bone up. And to add more bones coming, coming from this bone, we could then um, go into edit mode and just choose the tip of the bone and hit extrude. That's E on the keyboard. So hitting extrude and press Z to lock it on the Z axis. So the first bone we want to put it, the tip of it kind of in the middle of these arms. Then hit E again, Z. And that's the neck. Hit E and Z, and that's the bone for the head. All right, then we want to start doing the arm. So E and X. So we can extrude it on the X axis, which is the red one. Then E and X, we're going to reach the forearm. And E and X, we, we're going to uh, reach the hand part here. All right, then let's extrude this one, E and X, and E and Z, and E and Z. And now it's useful to change to the side view. So I'm going to click View, Viewpoint, Right. So we could move the tip on the X axis back a bit. Click on the tip and G and X, sorry, G and Y. So on the Y axis and hit extrude E and Y and extrude the foot out of the shin bone tip. All right, then there are bones that we could remove. So for example, this bone and this bone, I'm just going to hold down shift and select both of them, then press X and delete the bones. Then we want to have a connection between the bones even though there, there are deleted bones in between. So we can see the hips are not connected to anything. So they're separate from the rest of the armature. We want to change that. So by going into the bone properties, choosing the thigh bone, clicking on relations, we can choose the parent bone for that. So the parent bone is going to be bone. You can see the name over here on the top left corner. Click on the 
thigh bone and make the parent bone. So you can see this dotted line appears. That means the bone is parented. All right, then we want to name our bones. So good measure is to name the bone um, where, where, where it's located. So for example, thigh, and then we're going to add a dot. And this is the left thigh, so dot and capital L. Choose the shin bone, type in shin, dot, capital L, and the foot, dot, capital L. Then we could change this one to be spine. This could be spine two, and spine three, and head. We could make this one arm dot capital L. This one would be forearm dot capital L. All right, then we're going to choose our armature. So choose all of the bones by hitting A. Click on armature and go to symmetrize. So this makes a copy. If you named all the bones correctly with the dot capital L on the other side, it should uh, make a symmetrical armature now. So going through here, armature symmetrize. All right. Then we can join our mesh, meaning the 3D model with the armature. So first selecting the mesh here and then holding down shift and clicking on the armature. We have now selected the uh, child parent relationship sort of. So we can connect these now by holding down control and pressing P. It's going to ask where you want to set the parent to. So we want to set it to armature deform with automatic weights. So click on this one. Now you should see if you switch into object mode and try to turn any of the bones, they should rotate. Also the mesh. So you can see the wireframe of the of the mesh moving. If you want to see through the, the mess, mesh in uh, object mode, if we're switching to solid, you, you notice that you can't see actually the armature. So you want to choose the armature here on the outliner, go into armature properties, which is this uh, stick figure here. Click on viewport display and choose in front. So you're going to see the armature through the mesh. All right, so let's then check how our armature is connected to the mesh actually. So let's see if there's any errors. So actually choosing the mesh and going over here, there's this vertex uh, data properties. So click on this uh, green triangle. You can see there's a list of bones or bone names. And we could actually switch into edit mode. And let's choose spine, for example, from the list. And make sure nothing is selected here. So there's a selection for some reason here. I'm going to hit Alt A to deselect everything. Just click on spine and click on select. So now you're going to see the vertices and edges and faces that are connected to this spine bone. And it looks like there are some extra bones that we don't want the spine to be associated with. So for example, um, these um, faces over here, actually we, we just want to have the midsection of the character included. So we're going to hit remove from here, then hit Alt A on the 3D view, 
click on select again and now you can see nothing is selected that's what we want so I'm gonna hold down alt and click on uh, oh actually that was the wrong type of selection tool we have so I'm gonna change to face select hold down alt and click here around this edge the middle of it so it's gonna choose the loop around then we want to choose these faces and that's our selection for the bone so then I'm gonna hit assign and lock it from here so then we want to choose the next bones and that would be spine 2 let's see if we click select it's not gonna show anything that's actually all well and good we we don't actually need that bone for moving parts of the mesh. Let's choose spine three, click on select. So that bone is gonna move these vertices. Click on remove, hit Alt A and choose the vertices or faces you want this bone to move. So all of these in this case and hit assign lock both of these actually hit alt a and check all right everything's good then for the head click select we don't want this part to be included so i'm just going to hit remove alt a and select these faces and hit assign and lock it then let's go through the left arm still, then I'm just going to speed it up. So for the left arm, let's see, hit select, and it's including this whole body. So we want to hit remove, Alt A, choose these faces. Um, remember to hold down Shift and Alt while you're choosing additional loops and hit assign and hit the lock alt a select the check all right the forearm let's click select mm, there's a tip included we could hit this and hit assign so now when we click select it it shows up the, with the whole arm Click the lock icon then. And now when we finished connecting our mesh to the armature, we can see changing to pose mode, everything works fine. And the wrong parts of the mesh uh, there are no wrong parts moving if we rotate any bone then we could add a control circle below the character so shift a actually sorry you need to change from pose mode to object mode shift a mesh circle and scale it up and move it right around the bottom of the feet of the character then choose the armature hold down shift and choose the circle and control p set parent to object so now you could animate the armature and move the character when necessary with the circle so you could animate the circle to do the movement and animate the character uh, to do the poses all right, then let's have a look at IK rigs. So how we could make an uh, inverse kinematics for these, uh, these legs. So let's switch to edit mode. So inverse kinematics means that you could control the feet. Uh, for example, making walk animations is much easier with inverse kinematics when you could only 
have the feet moving or you could control grab the feet and they would rotate the rest of the feet or the legs automatically sort of so first uh, we're going to need something called pole target which is going to determine the angle of the knee so choosing these tips of bones holding down shift and choosing both of them i'm going to extrude on the y-axis so e and y so then you want to separate the pole targets from the rest of the leg so first i'm just going to rename them so going here into the bone settings in the edit mode i'm going to rename it pole dot capital l choose this one type in pole dot capital r and then I'm just going to remove the parent here by clicking on the X where it says parent. And same thing here. And hold down shift to select both of them and move them on the Y axis. A bit forward like this. Then choose the shin. And actually switch into pose mode. And go into bone constraints. Add a bone constraint choose inverse kinematics target is going to be this armature and bone foot left so the left foot will be the target bone which moves the rest of the leg pole target is going to be armature pole l so now you see something funny going on you want to change the chain length first to be two so it's going to control two of the above bones. All right, same thing here. Uh, we should add a bone constraint, inverse kinematics, and the target should be armature bone foot R. Pole target will be armature pole R. And remember to set the chain length to two. Then you might encounter something like this. So your foot is actually turned around. So you could adjust the pole angle to maybe help that out. So minus 180, turn the foot the right way around. All right, let's try and move the foot here. So selecting the foot bone and pressing G nothing happens really for either leg so we want to separate these feet from the rest of the armature as well so going to bone properties and going into edit mode remove the parent for shin L and same thing here shin R and then switch back to pose mode and now try grabbing the foot and it should behave properly so you can grab the foot and move it up and this is going to pose the whole of the leg so that's how inverse kinematics should work